Start with two real numbers, theta less than phi, both less than pi over 2. On the domain from 0 to pi over 2, graph the functions y equals the tangent of x, which is concave up and increasing, and the function y equals sine of x, which is concave down and increasing on the domain. The secant line connecting the origin to the point theta sine of theta has the equation y equals the sine of theta over theta times x, and this secant line lies above sine of x for x larger than theta. Similarly, the secant line connecting the origin to theta tangent of theta has the equation y equals the tangent of theta over theta times x, and this secant line lies below the tangent function. If we plug phi into the sine function, we see that we have sine of phi. And this is less than what happens when we plug phi into the secant line, which is the sine of theta over theta times phi. Likewise, if we plug phi into the secant line of the tangent function, we get a value of tangent theta over theta times phi, and that must be less than what happens when we plug phi into the tangent function, which gives us tangent of phi. We can divide the first inequality by the positive value sine of theta, resulting in sine of phi over sine of theta is less than phi over theta. And we can divide the second inequality by tangent of theta, resulting in phi over theta is less than tangent of phi over tangent of theta. But then we can string these two inequalities together, and we see that sine of phi over sine of theta is less than phi over theta, which is less than tangent of phi over tangent of theta. This is known is Aristarchus's inequalities.